This stone was heated in a fire and then doused with water. And you can plainly see the crack that runs right along the compression streak right there. Shake this cheek off of here. See? And try throwing off a blank like this with your billet. I guarantee you won't be able to do it. See? Well over 10 inches. And it's about uh, just over half an inch thick. Yeah, and you see the staining from the fire. Black char. Right there, right there. See how it made just a nice flat spot right there. Heat and water. Now let's try that on a stone that we would intend to make a tool out of. Now that stone was granite. Let's find a chert or a slate or an obsidian or a flint that we can do the same thing with. Now this Amherst flint right here would be a good stone to make some arrowheads out of, but really it's not the right configuration for for arrowheads or for, for a spearhead. So let's find something we can use. This spearhead here came from a stone that was about the size of a loaf of bread. And when I went to go and nap it, you can see I kind of ruined that edge right there. So. Maybe I'll try that again. Okay, and not too much direct heating from the flames. You just want a, a good hot coal for the rock to get heated up next to. See, just indirect heating. Brush that away. There's my first piece right there. Okay, now I got a couple blanks that I can nap. Let's go see what I can make out of these. And yeah, with that stone I used, uh, I would never would have gotten these uh, if it weren't for the heat and water. All right, just a few short minutes with the billet. Uh, this would be an awesome spearhead. I may want to take and use my tomahawk to degrade this edge here a little bit. Uh, I'm going to try the billet first. If, if it's a little stubborn, uh, this high ridge right here, I can crumble it away with uh, my press and twist method. And that's going to turn this stone into a perfect spearhead. And you can see that's the portion I want right there. So let's do it. See, This is a medium sized billet. That's what I'm going to be using to shape that spearhead. Uh, I use a palm stone instead of a piece of leather. It gives me much more control over where the stone breaks. And I'm just going to use a simple uh, sharpened stone for a, a flaking tool. And I, I always have really good results with using these too. So yeah, all stones. I don't like the leather palm palm pads. They, they just don't work effectively for me. I have no control over where the stone breaks. All right, it's a little fine tuning, and that's going to be a perfect spearhead. Now this is the Kentucky Field Stone, or uh, uh, more commonly known as a white flint. And if you ever tried to work a white flint, um, you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you use the, the heat and water method, well, you can get what you want, just like this. For pressure flaking, I use a palm stone, just like this one right here. See? And for my flaking tool, I use a sharpened stone. See? 
perfect. Because I'm a master of my techniques and I exist on the top of the food chain, not even the stones refuse to give me what I want. I make them do whatever I please. So if you shape your, your larger rocks, smooth them out, then heat them up and before you try to break them, um, you, you get what you want. My name is Trapper Jack Survival. Thank you for watching.